Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our programming library. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, rounding numbers in R. There are different functions which are used to uh, round the numbers in R. And the first one is uh, the round function. The round function takes two arguments, uh, the number itself and the number of digits that we want to retain after the decimal points. Uh, so, if we give uh, 2 uh, to the second argument digits, then it's going to retain only 2 digits after the decimal, okay. So, you can see only 2 digits are there after decimal. And if you want to round the given number 2 digits before the decimal, then we can just give a negative sign, uh, negative uh, 2 uh, to the second argument digits. So, let's see that, okay. So, the number is rounded. Uh, two digits before the decimal that is at the hundred hundred position and if no arguments uh, no digits argument is provided then it's going to round to the ones position there is another function which uh, is used to round the given number and that is the signi f function uh, this function also takes uh, two arguments the number itself and the digits but the digits this time is uh, the uh, the total number of digits that is retained and not, not the digits uh, that are retained after decimal. Uh, so, let us see that uh, for this particular number. So, you can see here uh, the value for the arguments, argument digit was 5. So, altogether 5 digits are retained um, for that number. And if no argument, uh, no digits argument is provided, then uh, there will be uh, 6 digits retained. Uh, both this round and signi f function uh, round a given number depending on uh, whether the uh, digits to be dropped is either less than 5 or greater than 5. If it is less than 5, then the number is rounded down. If it is um, um, greater than 5, then it, the number is rounded up. So, uh, let us see uh, uh, this value 3.46, this 4 uh, is less than 5. So, it is going to drop down. So the rounded value will be 3, but uh, 3.64 has 6 uh, which is um, greater than 5. So, it is going to round it up. So, it will be 4, uh, but what happens when uh, the, uh, the digits uh, to be dropped is exactly equal to 5. So, in that case, um, uh, the number, uh, the, these functions always round uh, to the nearest even number. So, for example, this 6.5 uh, will be rounded to 6 because uh, the nearest even number to 6.5 is 6 and similarly the nearest even number to 5.5 is also 6. So, it's, it will also round to 6. The floor function uh, takes one argument and around the nearest integer less than the argument. So, this 45.65 will be just 45 and minus 45.65 will be of course, 46 because as we know 40, minus 46 is less than uh, minus 45.65. Similarly, the ceiling function also takes a single argument and um, it rounds the nearest integer greater than the argument. So, this time this 45.65 um, will be rounded to 46 and uh, uh, minus 45.65 will be rounded to minus 45 using this ceiling function. And the last but not least function is the trunk function. Uh, this function actually um, uh, takes a single argument and rounds towards a 0 digits after decimal. So, basically it removes the decimal uh, from the number. So, let us use that trunk function. And you can see uh, we have only minus 125 and all the digits after the decimals are removed. And let us see another example and the result is exactly similar. All the digits after the decimals are truncated or removed. So, that is all, that's all for rounding numbers in R. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.